all right gamers we are back for another video of a fellas the diamond this game we're going to be playing fellow scragus into twitch thresh going to be facing ap twitch which i get i mean i guess both forms of twitch are pretty bad for a fellow since he's pretty immobile has no way of escaping the fellow sorry the twitch engage so all you can do is try and stat check him so Definitely the best answer for that will be just rushing the Bloodthirster and just always being healthy, always being full HP with the Overshield. That'll be a nice way to try and at least minimize the odds of him being able to pull off an assassination against us. Without having to rely, of course, on the two minute Guild Force cooldown. Trying to pressure him at the level 1 whenever he's overextended for farms, because at the very least we outrange him. And right now he either doesn't have W or he doesn't have E, and he kind of needs both to be useful. Okay, so if we can get a trade here. Okay. Oh, my bad. At least we're not going to hit the turret here. I'm going to have to flash her, I think. Okay, not bad. Could be worse for sure. Gotta watch out for the potential Twitch stealth engage, but uh, I'm assuming he'll probably take W, because he's also quite low. He doesn't really want to engage into me necessarily. And at the moment, we can just heal up with red. Okay, nice. That's a really good trade, and we'll reserve the last bit of red ammo just for one triple weapon combo potentially like that would prefer it on the twitch obviously but getting this thresh quite low is also quite useful still got ghost if we need it here we see twitch I'm just going to go ahead and base. This is a can wipe, right? Yeah, perfect. Best time to base then. I mean, we could also just stick around and try and cheese. But... Hmm, actually, we should stick around. Twitch will probably greet and stay. And if he doesn't, I guess we can just kill Thresh. Twitch are actually basing. In that case, we kind of want to kill the Thresh then, I guess. We have no guarantee that it'll actually work then. then. Okay, you know what? If we just base here, we're basing quite a bit later than Twitch, but thankfully Thresh is hitting this wave, which means Wish that is fucked. This should have been a lot better for Twitch. Uh, actually, oh, no, nah, fucked up. I should have at least got the cannon first. No reason to just... Like, I could, if I'm going to be uh, basing pretty late anyway, I might as well have got the cannon. Uh, well, I decided that way too late. My bad. I can't afford to wait too long here. Need to get make my base fast. Can't wait for too much mana. We need to make sure we're in lane before this wave crashes. Thankfully, again, because Twitch also based pretty late. It's not going to be too easily punishable. That's not good. We're stuck under turret here. I don't know how that fight started, but... Probably was the Leo going too aggressive there. I'm trying to drag her down. I don't know why I can't click it. There we go. This is also a little bit out of position here. We'll get the cannon first. Mm. I'll try and get an AoE root here. Nice one. Okay, 
Yeah, we have Kha'Zix around, so we don't want to commit too hard here. Gonna start putting points in... W. Nice one. We pop the ghost, so we'll be able to easily chase down Twitch here. Perfect. Nicely done. Well played Gragas with the peel. Was definitely relying on him there for that. Should I should have saved my Q, maybe. Oh well. Let's get this played in. Gonna definitely want to leave that next wave. We could. Oof. No, no, no. We leave it. We could consider uh, shoving it if it were not a cannon wave. But the cannon wave will take far too long to shove. And we don't... Oh, God. He got the costas as well. That sucks. But there's no fixing this. Because they're going to get into lane in time before we finish shoving that, most likely. Or at least it's definitely not a risk we can afford to take, for sure. So I'll get two potions. Well, I don't have amps up there yet. Won't bother with refillable because I think I'd be selling it pretty early anyway. Because real, like very realistically on my next base, I could be picking up two different, two more components. And after vamp scepter, sustain won't be too important anyway. want to have Gragas just try and choose and engage on someone here because I don't think they know he's there. Oh, now they do. Okay, we're going to have to back off now. That was a bit of a waste. He should have just stayed in the brush and tried to ease someone. If he used Q, it should have only been to use the slow to try and set up a potential E. For now, we'll just keep on freezing because we know the jungler is topside, so... And maybe bot lane has to be scared, both because we're probably stronger than them to be two at the moment, since we have the big lead. And also because they know our jungler is around and theirs isn't. We're about to have level six, though. They, this could be a really good opportunity to all in. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I accidentally put a point in Q, my bad. Got him. Right back into me. Nicely done, Gregus. Yeah, with the 10 chakrams there, it's just absolutely insane damage, so Twitch ends up falling to that, even though he was relatively healthy. It's good to be aware of how much damage you can put out on a fellas when you got a lot of chakram stacks. That Twitch probably feels violated. Um, I think we can get another whiff. It's not a cannon whiff. Alright, even though I accidentally put an extra point in Q, it doesn't really matter too much. We've talked about this in previous videos. Either three points in Q or four points in Q are all fine. Holy shit, we actually got the blood thruster. Ten minutes in. So at this point, the lane hopefully should be pretty unplayable for Twitch. It's also been uh, actually not great for him even before now. It's because the Gragas uh, presence has been really scary for Twitch to engage in too. If you ever try to engage on me, Gragas would just combo him and... It's an AP Gragas as well, so it does a lot of burst. We'll just drag this out a little bit, make sure that, uh, like if we, obviously these casters have no risk of going under turret, right? But if we, st if we still, if we freeze too close to the turret, eventually the melees that show up, those do have a chance of going under turret. So we still want the wave to be as far away from the turret as possible if we want to freeze. Or not as possible, but you, you know, just very safely out of that range. 
<coughs> so now one of these casters. So just zero fucking CS for Twitch right now. All he can do to last hit is use W. Especially Telfram because I got purple. I should be using up green though. So if, I, if at any point he gets close, he is 100% getting CC'd either by me or Gragas. Hopefully he's on them even from XP there. It's a pretty boring lane right now, but uh, there's just nothing they can do about this. And I've got so much sustain from the Bloodthirster Rush that I just don't even care about tanking the minions. Unfortunately, the freeze might break soon because unfortunately this cannon takes so long to die that I'm no longer controlling where I freeze the wave. So now these melees have a chance to potentially go under threat. Oop. Okay. Yeah, they end up going under turret, but no biggie. We gotta kill out of that. All worth it. We'll get rid of green now so we can shove blue. Shove with blue as fast as possible. I won't bother with that planning. It's gonna take forever. I may as well just base. <laughs> nice one. Got a gnome cover and boots. Just full damage here. Berserkers would also be fine, honestly. I don't really know. Like, I, I was thinking about either one and I wasn't really sure which I preferred. So I just rolled with gnome cover. Felt more natural. Seems like the entire map is doing pretty well. Like, at least the, pretty much the entire team f feels behind, although for top side, it's less that uh, my top lane is ahead, so much as Luck seems to be getting kills from Nara somehow. Again, we're just going to keep on freezing. Because we don't really have the ability to dive, especially against the Thresh, who can CC us under turret for so long. Uh, Phyllis is definitely not the best ADC for following up turret dives either. But away from the turret, they just have zero chance of actually fighting us, so we can just keep on freezing. It is like the most snooze fast playstyle, but this is just how we maximize our lead in lane. They might be on Drake. I gotta thin this out if I want to rotate over. Hmm. Even if I do thin it out though, like this is gonna crash pretty fast if I don't keep on tanking here, so I'm gonna have to tank these minions. There we go. Now we'll rotate over. Yep, it's gonna wave as well, that's perfect. Oh my god. I might die here, I've got red ult though. Should hopefully survive here. Yeah, barely, holy shit. Okay, you shouldn't have E back up yet, so... Well, that was unexpected. Thankfully, with the plot to build, we're able to survive. I mean, we might have survived with Kill for us as well, I don't know. But, uh... I for sure would have died there if he had flash, even if I used Kill for us. Unless I, like, Kill for us flashed away without giving him a chance to flash. Alright, we need to get rid of blue here, not red. Okay, no point pushing since my teammates are both just based. We don't want to overextend here alone. I have enough for Berserkers anyway. But otherwise I would have gone for the turret or for the Drake as well. I think ideally I would have preferred a turret. I want to secure that first turret. Potentially Talon might get it later on if we don't. For which reason, I would prefer if Flux defends her turret. I'll try and just rush this turret down as fast as I can, I think. At least we know Thresh is topside. We can get rid of blue fast here. Just get us white so we can rush this turret down. Should die pretty fast no matter what weapons we use though, but... 
Better safe than sorry. There we go. 450 gold to me. We could use the last bit of red to take the streak a little bit faster. Obviously, the red cube doesn't actually do much damage, but... The fact that it gives us five Chakrams there is huge. For the best on the Drake. Now we'll just move on to pressuring mid. I don't want the base yet. I'll go flash if I needed to escape here. Okay, we'll back up from the turret range. This uh, small defensive turret there. I think we're getting flanked. Mm. Oh, if I could have got an auto on Pelon, that would have been sick. Purple weapon combo. Oh well. We can get rid of what remains of green, I don't care. Okay, nice. I was expecting that to root as well, but that Gragas burst helped a lot. Eh, we'll just keep the last bit of green. You can't really triple weapon combo with this, but... Might as well just save it to double weapon combo, like this. Boom. Or, I mean, I don't even want to get the root. Or do I? Since I can, auto Since I can root the Thresh as well, I may as well. Nice one. Yeah, since we weren't in any particular rush to get blue, may as well just hold on to the last bit of green ammo, just, just, just so we can use one last green Q. There's just no benefit to getting rid of it. Because you have blue immediately as soon as you use the green Q anyway, so... If you're sitting on your... on, um... Uh, like, if you're about to get a weapon swap, you may as well just hold on to that last bit of ammo. So you have basic because basically that leaves you with three weapons disposable instead of two. Even if you can't triple weapon combo, it's still really useful. And I need to ghost out of here. Oh, I'm still dead here, sadly. Hopefully Talon dies. Oh man, that was so close. Alright, how much did they use there? Didn't think I would die there, but it was the Twitch burst combined with the Talon burst that did it. And Twitch flashing forwards. I only had Ghost up. Oh, can this thing pop up, please? There we go. Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah, I should have just ghosted sooner. I could have done with just backing off from the start since we didn't really have too much allies helping us out there. Like, in theory, I don't really mind getting burst by the Talon when he's so behind that I'm so ahead with the Bloodthirster for defensive stats. But uh, it was obviously like his team got to help him so much sooner than my team got to help me, which is on me for taking the fight. I should be backing off using Ghost to kite them, and then once they're turning away from me, then I can consider going aggressive instead of just face tanking them when they got superior numbers. Okay, we'll back off. Can potentially look to get Talon here, maybe? Never mind. One exception I would say, by the way, to that, uh... Leaving a small bit of ammo rule. Oh. My need to use red ult here. Yep. Just making sure they don't have a chance of one-shotting us there. Yeah, I was gonna say one exception though to that rule I just mentioned about leaving a little bit in the tank is I guess blue Q doesn't really have too much benefit to just holding on to it. It doesn't really do much. No matter what the offhand is, it just 
it, it doesn't do much damage and it doesn't have much utility. It's literally just a damage tool. You may as well just be auto attacking. But something like green Q is obviously very nice for poke. Whereas blue Q, if you're in range to blue Q, if you're in range to blue Q, you're also in range to auto attack. So, yeah. We'll get the wolves on the way to Drake. And the crop, just leave them with nothing. Nice one. I think we should just go for Baron now as well. They're not going to be able to do anything about this. See if my team listens. I think at least Lilia seems to be listening. Nice one. Uh, we can still do it. I'm gonna save the last bit of white ammo as well for my white cute to come back up as well. Root him so he doesn't have a chance of killing Lilia. There we go. How much do I need for Infinity Edge? I feel like I may as well not base until I've got the full Infinity Edge. Unless my team is basing. Yeah, okay. One person basing, one person in the jungle. We may as well spend our gold, even if it's not the ultimate for our spike. It's gonna take us a while to farm this anyway. And now I suggest rotating bots, since if we were to get a bot lane in hip, that would increase our chances of being able to get the next Baron, as it forces one of their team to be on the opposite side of the map to respond to the super minion waves. And on top of that, the next objective that's coming up is Drake, which is bot side, so we'd rather be grouped around bot side in the long term. So there's two different reasons why we would like to go bot now. Then eventually somebody might want to go mid again if, uh... Okay. If we're gonna need to get the inhibit again, I can't remember when that when that went down. Took zero damage from that. Okay, there's an invisible twitch there. The crappy thing about using blue to take turrets against twitch, you never know if it's gonna randomly give you aggro. Okay, uh, we want to keep two purple ammo in case we want to use the root, which we do. There we go. That was actually three ammo, but I meant minimum two. We have only one, uh, we mentioned in previous videos, then you can only get the purple auto, but you can't use purple Q. Given that you need to use an auto before using purple's ability. Either, or, I mean, you could get a root if you use purple ult, but that's uh, obviously, obviously that forces you to use purple ult when you might not want to. Nice one. Try and get this Kha'Zix now. <laughs> Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios. We're gonna start off flirting with our mid laner, playing Lux. I, God, I hope that's a girl in real life. 
going to be playing Aphelios Taric into a Jin Thresh. What the hell? I wonder if they have a Vitop. I actually think Lane Vi is quite underrated. Taric, man, no Aphelios. Gosh, I'd bend over it instantly. I really hope this is a girl because I'm really getting turned on here. Anyway, we started the W already. Just gonna start off this game, leashing for the graves as usual. Um, so Tarek, not really amazing at the thrash. We, I don't know if we've established it in this series in particular, but uh, we've I have definitely said before on the channel that Tarek very much excels into melee supports or just like low range champions in general. Obviously, what the fuck is this blue doing? So obviously melee supports are the lowest range you can get. And as far as the ADC goes, again, the lower their range, the better for Tarek as well. Because he's pretty much like a really insane duelist. In the early game, if he can just hit the opponent, he does a ton of damage with his passive. And a ton of healing as well. But if he can't actually hit the enemies, he's useless. He just does nothing if he can't reach them. So they have an engage support, which is the sort of support that... Uh, Tarek does like the face, but it's a ranged engage support, you know? Which is uh, not what Tarek likes to face. Was that a Dark Harvest on the Thresh? What the hell? I'm gonna pop Ghost here because we see an advance. Oh, against the Nodo. My bad. There we go. Oh. I'm not hitting level 2 anytime soon, so we'll just hammer away at Thresh a little bit. There we go. If I was actually hitting level 2 soon, then I would maybe prioritize trying to hit some of the minions for level 2, so I could actually get some abilities. Okay, we're just gonna slow push for now. Alright, um, probably just want to look to crash this, but I could also just try and abuse my level lead over Jim right now. Oh, I thought that was going to be a triple bomb combo, what? Didn't realize I had more than 10 ammo on red. We can, ah, you know what, I'm just going to stay, because I can actually get off, oh, this guy's strolling. Yeah, I can actually get off a really neat combo, as soon as Jin gets in my range again. I'd like to keep up my conquest deck, so, so that's why I'm going to risk a... First shot there. No way. Okay, I don't have aggro yet, but I'm probably fucked. Oh, I made the click fresh there. Damn it. Alright, nicely done. I am gonna peace out of here. <laughs> I was way too greedy trying to get the triple weapon combo there. Alright, this wave is good for us. Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Do not touch that wave. It is gonna push towards us. Nice one. Yeah, I mean, I was still, like, full HP, right? Full mana. As much as I could base and spend some gold. I also felt like maybe I just wasn't done yet, you know? Had a bit more left in the tank. Still had that dog in me, you know? Oh, what is she doing? What is she sidestepping? He has no mana! Oh, lord. Hopefully that's, uh, one for one. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, this is an absolute disaster of a wave stay for Jen. He arrives to... He missed an entire wave. He's gonna arrive to this one, fortunately, but... I'm arriving to way more than just one wave. And I was already ahead to begin with. Okay, pull. Okay. Stop! Stop hitting that! Stop! Oh, dude, I think he's trying to heal, but... You don't have to cost me CS for that. There we go. We can try and get the Anna. Put one more point in Q. She's somewhere in our jungle, we know that. Bloskin is not up. Okay, we know their Bolton isn't following up yet. Wait. One auto, one auto. Yes, I got her. I didn't even see my auto go off, but... Assume it must have. Each of us. 
Okay, Jin just overstepped. We got purple, so we'll chase him down. Oh, and that enables a free Terra key. One more auto? Ah, this probably still kills him, though. Yeah, actually, that was way overkill even, because I was about to get purple back up. Which means I had a lot of damage left in the tank there, actually, even if that didn't kill him. So I didn't need to care about one more auto. We'll start loving W. Just gotta make sure the Thresh does not freeze here. Alright, perfect. Oh, dude, I just realized I forgot I was doing Bloodthirster Rush. I was thinking of the Noom Cover. Bolt path, but this actually works fine. This dagger will just build into Berserkers. Oh, I just barely don't have enough for BF, so that's kind of unlucky. Hmm. We'll do Vamp, I guess. Either way, we get a lot of fucking... Uh, wastage there. Oh, well, we'll just sit on this for now. That was a really awkward amount of gold to base on. I would really much prefer the BF sword, both because obviously BF sword is such a great component, and also because then my base doesn't leave me with like 300 gold unspent, which is just stats that you're not getting. It is preferable to just leave base with zero gold pretty much every time. Obviously, you can't always account for it, but generally, if there is a way to plan out your buys so that you're ending up with zero gold, then that is ideal. So you're getting the most amount of stats possible. Obviously, the problem with uh, going for Bloodthirster first item instead of Mythic is that it has a lot less cheap components. So it's harder to get that perfect base. We're doing a little bit more damage with white than we would with blue, so... Okay, nice. Didn't actually have the ghost. Oh well. Good shit. Mm. Okay, he's dead. Ah, uh, she's dead. Okay, cool. God, I've nearly run out of white before using blue. Anyway, that was it. By the way, I uh, did not mean to use white. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying there? Wait, I need uh, I need to keep white. Uh, yeah, I accidentally used white Q there when I meant to actually use blue Q to get myself a few more white stacks. I don't think using white Q was worth there because it lowers my white ammo when my autos are going to be fine for killing them there. White Q was a bit overkill. Alright, we pretty much need to run... Ah, oh, god damn it, I went for no cover. Too late. God damn it. Okay, we're just rushing Kraken Slayer. It is what it is. <laughs> I might as well have just had a better base earlier then. Oh well. Honestly, it's not a big deal, I don't think. Would have probably a little bit of a stronger laning phase with crack with uh, Bloodthirster, but whatever. Anyway, we're just going to keep spamming Q, try and make sure we run this down ASAP. Don't want to risk getting rid of white plate and red by its own is not that good so we don't want to just auto attack with it okay we did a lot of damage there nicely done trip up and combo there was hoping to get that done now let's focus on shoving this They're super low, so pretty much they either base or they risk death here. In fact, Terraka's ult, it is an absolutely free dive of fields, and especially if he takes aggro. Okay, we see Dana mid. She might be coming bot side though, I think she's coming bot side after she finishes. Clearing that pink. Oh, actually, she's back mid. I couldn't see her on the map again. Okay. I might try and go for a cheeky combo here. Let's see if this works. I just need to hit Jin with green ult. Perfect. Wait, fuck. Yeah, he actually was too far away for me to actually do what I wanted to do, but all good. <gasps> I 
<gasps> no! I thought I wouldn't get aggro. That sucks. I mean, there's no point in picking him. Like, he, he has to try and fight her, otherwise he's gonna die. But he might stand a chance of beating her, because he is Taric. Oh! And he actually kills her. He loses, sort of. But we'll treat that as a victory. <laughs> what is going on in this game, man? No brain, no hands. That is actually a really good name for a Vimin. Yeah, what I was hoping to do there was green ult into applying a purple auto. You know, with the green, uh, the green auto applied by green ult. Then we switch to purple, root the Jin, switch back to green, and use green Q. And therefore, we basically end up hitting him with three different abilities because of one ability landing. But unfortunately, by the time I was using green Q, or I would have used green Q, he was just already... Ooh. Oh my lord. No, fuck, I was hoping Terra could be in the way. Hopefully he goes down now. He does. Okay, not bad. That was unexpected. Well played her, I guess. Okay, leave that, leave that, leave that, leave that. If you want Drake, go do Drake. Don't take my wave. Okay, now they have to come into it. I need to be getting rid of blue, but we don't need to spam blue here because this is a fine weapon combination. Blue autos are really strong by themselves. We're fine to just hold on to blue and keep auto attacking with that. Keep wave clearing with it as well. Nice one. Oh my god, this... Oh, that was so much damage. Okay. My farm! Nice one. Just making sure to hold the aggro for a little bit. This guy has taken like 20, no, like 30 CS for my lane, I want to say, in the past two minutes. <sighs> that was me sighing for attention. Okay, we can rotate mid or we can base. I'm going to rotate mid. Spend some quality one-on-one -on -one time with the Slux. What the fuck? I can rotate back bot now, I guess. Is she gonna go bot? No. So I need to catch the Swift. Uh, after that... I think... I'll just base. Need to spend this gold. Uh, we can flank the Jin here, should be a kill, hopefully. I've got one red ammo, so that should be some free white charges. But I need to just straight up red Q. Can't use a red auto. Tarek? Tarek? What? He was supposed to- What? He was supposed to fucking- Oh, I'm so tilted. I just pressed Q back, by the way. Dude, he was supposed to cut him off. What the fuck? I wouldn't have fucking walked like that if I knew Tarek was AFK. Oh my lord, oh well. Alright, I'm basing. Or actually, they're pretty distracted on middle, and I think we can push bot. Hello, Jin. I was hoping Jin would have actually based, though, but I guess he never actually lost HP, did he? Ooh. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Now let's focus on getting this turret with white. 
Oh man, do they have a Herald? White pushes towards pretty fast, but it does not push Herald. Okay, but the Herald is down now and they're kind of getting pressure on mid lane, so let's keep on pushing here. Nice one. Good shit. Okay, there's a Vi here. I want to get rid of green fast. Who is better pushing turrets? Or uh, for fighting, rather. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I'll take that. Force the Vi flash. Do I want to keep pushing? Nah, there's no way I get away with this, honestly. They're gonna force me off the inhibitor sooner or later. That's pretty much a guarantee. I'm probably not getting flanked anyway, so there's no harm in just doing damage to the inhibitor and getting forced off. But there's very little gain, and we don't know for sure that we're not getting flanked. So let's just not take that risk, since the gain is not really high either. Some things can look really free, but still not be worth the risk if the gain is just non-existent. Good analogy would be like, you get one, one cent, and there's a 99.99% that the scent doesn't explode and kill you. Pretty great odds, right? But do you really, really need that scent, though? Is that really so valuable to you? I hope that very realistic real-life scenario puts things into perspective for you. Okay, we got BT... Yeah, their team is just incredibly bursted. We definitely want the Bloodbuster. No point in considering anything else. Ugh. E-daters. Nice. I'm gonna get rid of purple. Oh, they don't have raptors up. Never mind. Uh, I made a mistake, by the way. I should have left myself on two purple ammo rather than one. We've discussed this. One is useless. Two is extremely useful. <laughs> Alright, let's get the streak. Nice one. <laughs> Don't need to do much to beat her there. Okay, that was a bit risky. What was our jungle doing? He was there. Okay, I just figured we would have help there, and if we didn't, just because we had so much vision that we knew Diana wouldn't try and steal. That was not really the case, but... What if I feel like he's trying to take my red? Wait, we can take the enemy raptors. That also gives Lux a chance to get some solo farm rather than having to share it with her. Again, you just want to avoid sharing solo farm with your solo laners as much as possible. If either of you can find an alternate source of farm, even if it's a little bit less farm than you would have gotten solo farming mid, it's probably more farm than you would get trying to split a whole wave with your mid laner, right? Ooh, blue is up. Alright, now we can group again. I'm done stealing stuff. What? Oh, no. What? 
Where's the other mark? What? What? Dude, that bugged out visually. Like, he had a mark on him, but I couldn't rock it. Oh, well. I don't know why that happened, though. Usually, like, I've, I've had that before, I'm sure, but it... It looked like a genuine visual bug where I shouldn't have had a mark, but that time I should have had a mark. So, where the fuck did my mark go? Alright, I've got infinity edge as soon as I base, but I may as well get another midway first. Mmm, I should try and help here. Mmm, not gonna be entirely doable. So let's just retreat. And let me get my infinity edge. Get wolves on the way to mid. Doesn't take too long and it gives me 4 CS in the process. While still being headed on the way towards where there's likely to be any fight. As long as there's not, like, as long as we don't know for a fact that a fight is about to break out or like it looks extremely likely, then you want to try and prioritize getting farm on the way if possible. But you need to be on your way as well, is the important thing. Because you truly never actually really know whether there's going to be a fight or not. Stan is very tanky, just two different tank items. I could try and use my ult to pick off the rush, but that hardly feels like a good use of ultimate. This should be a kill though, maybe. I was hoping to hold both of them there. Nice one. Yeah, they had a certainly tanker than I expected her to build, but... All good. We have the damage to deal with her. Oh, meanwhile we actually aced them. Didn't even know that. I'm actually just gonna walk past this. We can probably just end here. We just focus their nexus. Okay, we got two purple ammo in case we need it, but I think we're just gonna end. Then maybe I can flash on Jin. Nice, too scared. We'll see. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Ophelos the Diamond. Let's see if we can bait out the Morgana flash. Apparently not. Would've been fun if I got hit by that. Under turret, they can't do anything. That's why I was hoping she would flash Q and then maybe I just juke the Q. At worst, I just flash it. If I can see it's gonna hit me. Looks like they're still committed to this invade. Makes sense. We can't really fight them. Oh. Well, if she dies there, that's incredibly stupid. <laughs> yeah, at least she doesn't die. Just gets chunked out. Because she wasn't paying attention. Alright, the enemy botlin is going to be leashing red. I'm going to try and make them miss XP. I suppose I'll just do the way that I'm more comfortable with. It's more likely a little fuck it up, but... I just tank about four minions here. Four or five. But no, they are good Lulu. Anyway, we don't want to push here because we're not gonna, we don't want to die to a level 2 J4 gank. Anyway, it seems like we succeeded at... They did miss XP there. Basically, the point of what I just did... Oh, they I thought they were on red. What? But the point of that is that we just line them up um, side to side. So their, like, their side to side wave approaches my front to back wave. And so all of their minions focus one of my minions. And that minion dies and they miss XP. So they're beating us on push right now, but they're not going to hit level 2 from killing our 3 melees.
So what's funny is that presumably our red buff is actually still up then. But uh, J4 is losing his red because we assumed he would be on our red. So J4 either needs to get our red right now or he's actually going to lose out. Does he have red? He does not have red. Interesting. Ah, oh well. Ah, fuck. I'll check a potion because we might want to go aggressive soon. I'd like to use one more Q on Kai'Sa before I eventually go for a triple weapon combo. We'll save the rest of the ammo for the triple weapon combo. No need to greed for it yet. Alright, she's dead. Come on. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? I thought she would die without having to actually triple weapon. Still, she should die now. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So close. I thought she was out of mana, though. Must have been wrong about that. Check it later. Need to buy now. We can just wait then go for the longsword. Lulu should not be sh uh, touching this wave. I don't know if she is or not, isn't. There was no point in that Q, so she probably was trying to hit the wave. If she doesn't touch it, or the less she touches it, the better the wave state it'll be for me, and the less and the more Ka CS Kaisa misses as well. Yeah, so when I started this dive, she had no mana, right? No mana whatsoever. Then she Qs me, and she uses W on me. Ah, she leveled up. How does she level up? What? Oh, there's minions dying on the turret. That's how she leveled up. And she was just barely an XP range. Damn. A little bit unlucky, but well. That's a pretty nice trade you can do as well uh, when you outrange people with green. If you can't afford to do some like super extended combo with like double weapons or something, or double abilities, then what you do is you just walk up with purple, auto, root them, then you walk outside of the auto attack range while switching to green, and then just poke them with green. If I had done that with like two purple autos, instead of one purple, one green, then we would have been trading autos the entire time, but instead we trade one auto, then I hit her for free. It's a really nice trading pattern against people who just can't fight back against it. Wait, I hit Morgana? Huh. Oh, shit. Keep misclicking there, my bad. Should have been able to do a lot more damage to them. I think I kept hitting minions. Or maybe I was hitting them, but I definitely felt like I was misclicking. Just want to use blue to try and harass Kaisa. So far, I haven't hit her a single time, I don't think. Could be coming bot. Man. So close. What the hell? What did Lulu get hit by there? Why would it... Why would her comment... I didn't see Morgana W. Maybe it was just running out. Uh, I suppose we can shove another wave. We'll hold on to... Actually, we don't need to, because we can shove really fast with the white as well. I was going to say... Ooh. Well, he's dead. I was going to say we'll hold on to... Uh, blue Q until we've used a lot of blue auto attacks to clear the wave faster. But actually, since white is also really good at clearing waves, even better in the early game than blue. Then I just decided actually it would probably be better to just blue key the wave so we can get some white stacks and then that runs out. It, it runs down blue, but that's fine because we can just wave clear with white anyway. But if, say, you weren't getting uh, blue white, 
in that case, you would want to just hold on to the blue Q. You wouldn't want to use blue Q if you're on less than blue ammo or less than 10 blue ammo because you don't want to get rid of blue early when you can just use the Q later. And in the meantime, benefit from the wave clear from the autos. Damn it. But running a straight line, I might have had it, but I was afraid Morgana might be in the brush. I'm just going to use a lot of red cues to run this down faster. Oh my lord, she actually really wants to trade. Just hardly any point switching to white when I'm going to like immediately run out of ammo on it. And pop the potions. Did that hit no one? No way. What? That's crazy. I was gonna hit both of them for a big heal, man. Alright, we wanna keep uh, what's left of white so we can triple up and combo. Okay. Man, if only I hadn't wasted my ult. We're slowly but surely life stealing here. I was a lot lower like 20 seconds ago. Ah, oh, damn it, she backs off immediately. Nice one. Ooh, damn. And I need to walk away now. As far as I know, G4 still is ult. I never saw him use it. Ah, but I want to get this wave, man. Then I would have the F sword. Sad, man. Sad. It is what it is. We don't... Like, we can... Like, just pay attention there. Wait and see whether J4 will leave the lane or not. If he goes to go farm Gromp or something, then he probably will be too lazy to turn around and zone us from the wave when we suddenly walk up to it and we could shove it. But so long as he keeps on farming there, no point cancelling the base, we just have to base. He's never going to let us get access to that wave. And it's so annoying because he doesn't know that I needed 200 gold for BF Sword, does he? He just got very lucky in his decision making there. This cost me a massive power spike. I mean, I could have sold the... Honestly, I should have sold the dagger. I had the vague thought in my head, but I didn't really properly consider it. It's because I was too tilted because I thought, oh, I can just... Shove this wave and J4 leaves and he just never left. Oh. Made me forget to consider. They shouldn't be fighting here, but if they win, nice. Made me forget to consider selling the dagger. Well, they actually won it. Nice one. We'll drag it really far out because I don't want to keep tanking it permanently. That would be a lot of HP to lose. Didn't catch whether Kaisa died there or not. She probably did though, considering how many people died. Oh no. Maybe not. Yeah, she's back. Might as well run down blue a little bit since we're... ...really deep into purple. There's no point running down purple significantly before blue because the next weapon we'll get is red and blue red not really an amazing combo the best thing about it is just having blue in which case we may as well just benefit from using blue now okay now we can run down purple i guess Oh, 
That was meant to be an AoE again, but they moved. I'll just walk out of that. Ah. Get her in for the kill steal. Oh well. God, she's got nine kills. Jesus Christ. I wonder if she stomped that Drake fight. But yeah, by the, by the way, speaking of that Drake fight, obviously I couldn't really move to that fight given how much CS I had in the lane. That's why I didn't bother rotating and just bring my team back. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Gonna have to probably shove this out now. But that's not a big deal. Oh, fuck's sake. Get to reset the stacks for now. Perfect. Nice one. We'll just get this plating and leave, I guess. Or is this a counter wave? No. Okay, so I would need two waves to cash out my coal. Definitely not worth it. I can actually get buffs or bloodthirst now, can't I? Yeah, perfect. And berserkers. That was a huge base. But that is a huge base. I'm not done with it yet. Hmm. Would love to get Crick Cloak, but it's not worth waiting for. a big risk by the way this game now running cleanse given we're facing morgana but so long as you can just keep dodging those pays off pretty hard she can't afford to ignore me i was hoping both would hit them oh well ah didn't notice the cannon dropping my bad oh they surrendered cool well they random, but I guess with the 14 kills, Katarina, I can't blame them. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios. Why does every game start like this, man? I usually walk into the special level 1 each game, but it also spots it spots out, in, spots out invades like that. But if, obviously, if you're seeing it early, then they see you. You can't go into the brush. Bit of a shame. So we're going to be playing a Phileos Thrash into Jin Volkos, which both are pretty good bot lanes. Their bot lane should be a bit better in lane. Oh, that sucks. Damn. Not sure how we got caught there. This is basically two games, actually. I just realized this is two games in a row where we, on bot lane, we see an invade coming and we foil it. And then one of one of our teammates is AFK or something and gets caught out by a different invade. <laughs> Twice in a row, man. Except previous game at least they didn't die. This game you did. Like on like if you get caught out by an invade, surely the worst thing to do is try a different invade because the enemy team is now aware of your tactics. But it's just worked twice in a row, so what do I know? Oh my lord, that mini block sucked. Come on, Thrash, land something. Not really what I wanted. Well. Yes. I'd rather focus, Jen. 
So obviously I could have like focused uh, Valkas there and potentially got a kill, but he's just gonna flash away and recover HP from his potions. And in the long run, I mean, he's got higher range than Jin as well. So even while low HP is gonna be more useful than Jin, knowing that I'm not gonna get a kill unless Valkas just for some reason decides not to flash, in the long run, I would prefer my damage goes on Jin than Valkas. So we have a smoother laning phase overall, despite the Valkas getting to keep his flash. It was just very vulnerable there though, so we just go for the Q on Valkals instead of Jin. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna try and go for a triple weapon combo now. Don't wanna do it against the fourth shot though. Is he gonna step up? He is. Oh, we can just go for Valkos then. Ah, damn it. That Ginny was annoying that it landed. Might still be able to get him soon though. Wait, what? <laughs> My blue key wouldn't cast. Did I have no. Did I not have mana? If I have less than 120 mana, then I actually didn't have mana. How did I- oh, did I fucking- I died to a trap that fucking didn't I? Hang on. Spend our gold. Uh, actually we can do Vamp Scepter, that'll be really useful against the Volkos poke. I'm assuming I had no mana, because I was spamming Q there. Yep, I was missing six mana, God damn it. Yeah, that was a very unfortunate trap placement though. I never- no- I didn't even know it was there. How long was that there? Oh, he just placed it now. Yeah, I was not paying attention, my bad. Because I could have also just walked out of it. It would have been really awkward for my flash burst, but... At the very least, I could have positioned around it. I could have popped Ghost to walk out of it faster. Careful, guys. Yeah, I guess if I'm rushing BT, the sustain from Cole is actually less relevant than ever. At least once I've got Bloodthirster completed. And Vam said there's definitely a better early sustain than Cole is. I just want to keep dragging it out. Ow. Well, that sucks. Good thing we got sustain. Just the W Max now. We could do a Thresh positioning a bit more aggressively so we could actually land hooks on this focus. Yeah, there's no way I can fight a bot lane that outranges me this hard without their without or engage support the engaging. I'm gonna mute this guy. If I died to Jin W while I'm muting him, it's his own fault. Hmm, actually... I can do coal, I guess. Get a little bit more sustain. It's a bit late for it now, but it's not too late. 
Generally though, I'd prefer to pick it up about two minutes uh, sooner. Oh damn. This is way overextended. Mm. Okay, nice. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Oh my god. Fuck. Didn't notice, sorry. I keep picking up really bad components. I would love to base on BF Sword. Ooh, he actually wins that nice one. What do they need to leave the wave? Ah, they may as well shove it. If they do need to leave it alone because it's a good wave stay for me, I need to identify that really fast. Man. Probably should have been able to pick up Jin if I just ignored the Lantern. Give me three things to get that. Oh my god, I got many blocked into that. My bad. Not the best game for me so far. I wanted to try and maintain my stack so we could maybe try and get a duel here. It's just stuck on minions there. Getting hit by that Q was pretty bad though. I didn't need to get hit by that. Should have made sure I was actually behind the minions. Holy crap, this Warwick is really fed. What the hell? Also, by the way, I also hadn't paid attention to the fact that Thresh based. I was assuming that Thresh, if he wasn't in my vision, immediate vision, he was at least like very close behind me, but that was just an assumption. I only noticed once I looked at the map afterwards that he was in base. So I need to pay more attention to that. I don't even want to bother stepping up to this guy. We're just super behind at the moment. We could, we do win all in still, but we need to actually all in for that. We can't, like I can't really engage the fight because I'm going to get burst down by Valkos and Splash isn't going for hooks. So we're just playing a passive for now. It's the only choice. Oh god, right between them both again. But this Thresh, like... Oh god. He should have been able to see that we wanted to fight there. At least I live. Like, I knew he was going off to the side, but I looked at the map and thought... Yeah, he can just leave that. Capitalize off the enemy building massively overextending there. But we're just never on the same page. I want to fight and he's just disengaging every time. Disengaging or in that occasion trying to help out a teammate who I think was fine anyway. I can't see because of the replay icon. I mean, there's nothing he can really do to save Talon, there's the thing, right? Just wasting his time. When I wanted to fight. I always want to fight, but he never does. At least I didn't die that time, but... 
Seriously lame just not having a lead in the lane like this. We could easily be getting one. They never have to let a player engages because we never engage. Oh, didn't mean to press Q. Oh well. My bad. No, I'm going with over aggressive 1v2 there, my bad. I'm not playing my best right now, I'm just really tilted. I was also hoping for a triple weapon combo engine in there, but he just immediately goes behind minions, so couldn't land anything. That was a pretty frustrating minion block into the queue, though. Couldn't move any further up because of the minions. Which makes it a good Valka's Q, but just annoying that there was no way to counterplay that besides not being in his range. to the turret right now. Got no idea. Hopefully my next base is finally enough for a BF sword. Well, because it's tough for some reason, we could try and dive. Ooh, he actually landed it. Oh, he didn't really do anything with it though. Kind of a waste. He has ignite as well. We could definitely burst Jin. I'll at very least try. It's true. He is the thrush of all time. He finally hooked someone, and I thought he was finally gonna do something with it. Maybe I could try and cheese. Well, because it's still mid for some reason. I don't know if I even win is the thing though, he's literally two levels up on me. If anything, I just gotta go for flame for a poke. Legendary. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. I hate this game, man. <laughs> Jin is 1v2, but we just don't abuse it, so he's just solo farming the entire time. Then eventually Volkos comes back and I get caught out trying to pu fucking punish this Jin. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Why do I have two quick looks? Okay, that was just a misclick. Holy shit, I thought I'd made a grave mistake at some point. Glad to know it's refundable. Run follow up for he might actually die here. Mm. Maybe I can get Volkos at least. Oh Jesus. Well ah, damn it, the cane did not hesitate in following up there, sadly. I was hoping he would be initially backing off because he was so low and he wouldn't want to die to me, but I didn't have vision in the brush, so I needed to place vision in that brush first. And before I even got to the brush, he was already turning on me. Just <laughs> saw me and immediately went to engage. No hesitation at all, despite how low he was. Ah, uh, damn. I still don't have the upsword.
He could have cancelled the Thresh. Or the Valka's ult with his Q. God, it's quite annoying that I'm the one that suffers for Thresh's specifically. That's only a second death. I'm on six because we never fight them, but they fight us. There's a lot of ways I can die, but not any ways I can kill them. Is what's going wrong this game for us on bot lane. For me, anyway. There are for sure ways the Thresh could kill their bot lane, it's just not doing it. Not sure why Rodikazu came bot instead of just continuing to farm top. Warwick should definitely have the red. He's gonna use it a lot better than me right now. <clears throat> like 19 minutes is definitely more than late enough for the ADC to be start to like have a valid reason to take the red buff, but definitely not when I'm this behind and Warwick is so ahead. I want it at some point, but not yet. Oh. Could try and do something here with my white ult. We couldn't probably win this. We'll pop the ghost, finally have a reason to use it. Oh, god damn it. Ah. As long as I had no vision, otherwise I could. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, so knowing that I didn't have vision, otherwise I could have just. Tanked the Volkos combo and killed him with one extra auto. But instead I have to flash it, otherwise he gets out of my range since he's out of vision. Nice. <laughs> it's the first time I can actually base on a BF sword. But I'm actually picking up way more than BF sword. I'm picking up not only just the full upgraded Bloodthruster, but even more than that as well. Rough game in terms of buys this game. Like obviously it's nice that I finally get a ooh, finally get a good base, but it comes so fucking late. I'm also really far behind on my cold because of being unable to farm in lane properly. I mean, that's just what happens though if you're just playing, getting hard pressured against, but you can't exert any pressure of your own. Because even if I'm not getting killed in lane, I'm still giving up a lot of farm just to avoid damage, avoid death. Whereas the enemies should be doing the same, or like for their aggression should be punished with like fresh hooks, which could lead to death, but instead nothing ever happened to them. Which just gives them a whole lot of avenues to deny me farm. Without ever risking anything. I'll soak up one more wave here. Don't want to let it crash into the turret. And we'll rotate mid now. Hopefully there's no Jackson here. Nice. He might be on Raptors though. There's no point of Warwick being here, there's no chance to ever get a kill there. The only thing you risk is getting caught out by the enemies for your overaggression. Mm. I 
Nice. Over to Jax. Nice. Nice gonna leap a kill to me. Awesome. We'll try and get rid of purple first. That was actually pretty smartly played from me. Jax was out of vision, so I couldn't thought of him. But I got the idea to... I can't remember if I switched to blue or if I already had it, but I just blue queued Jax, for, uh, which applies a purple proc even though I don't have vision. Then the purple proc. With that, we switched to purple, root him, and that led to Thrush getting a free hook. Oh, I would say that's way over aggressive. Oh my lord, no way he survives that, right? Jesus, he did. What? God damn. He has 16 kills. I'm not in trouble. I am very much in trouble here. Couldn't see if that was a land pin. Oh, no, he wasted it. Okay. I thought I saw the animation, but I couldn't see it near me. Wait, who got a... Oh, my God. <laughs> the Jin got a Quadra. Fitting. Okay, let's work coming back. I'm much less tilted than I was earlier on in this game. Because now that I'm actually- now that I'm depending on more people than just the Thresh, who has proven to be very undependable, it's actually a lot smoother. And apparently Thresh is being ultra toxic, so I was right in muting him. Actually, I can blue trinket there and then I'm safe to farm. I can already base for Kraken Slayer. Although if I wait until I've also cashed on my cold, then I can maybe get a crit cloak on top of Kraken Slayer. So I'll try and show that. This is a little bit risky, but I've got every summoner up. If I get gank from up there, I might be screwed though. Oh, I meant to use red Q. Alright, perfect. Yeah, we can get a big buy here. In high low, I never would have gotten away with this. In high low, I wouldn't have bothered trying to farm that wave. In low elo, it's inconsistent whether you will get punished or not. The fact that you also can't really safely shove in waves past the midway point on bot lane is also a big reason as to why you would rather be farming mid. Where you actually tend to have your teammates supporting you. Okay. Did I fucking miss? God damn it. He's dead. You can run, but you can't hide, buddy. That was a huge fight with my chakrams. And my white threat. They let my white threat sit for so long. You kind of have to insta kill uh, Aphelos' white threat in that situation if he's got white green. You can't just be letting Aphelos free hit you. Because if they had removed that, I would have only been able to auto attack them with green. Instead, I was getting white autos and the white threat, which also by itself even does non insignificant damage. I don't mind tanking that. Couldn't get in front though. Just makes more sense for me to tank it because Jin ult is an execute. Even even the non fourth shots are executes, so they do more damage based on how low your HP is. Since I was the highest HP one, I don't like I, I'll take the least damage, and I also have more than enough sustain to just not care about whatever damage I do take. Now at this point, I would very much rather have the red buff on myself, but not much I can do about Warwick taking that. I still got this.
Like at the moment, obviously he's still quite a bit more fed than me, but at this point, I'm also strong enough that because I have the range advantage, I feel like it's just better to have red buff on me. Oh, nice one. Let's go push this turret then. By the way, what do you all think about the mythic changes? Where they're going to make Infinity Edge a mythic? Kraken Slayer is going to become a legendary. Very interesting. I don't know whether I'll like it or not. I do think ADC in the post-mythic era is just a lot better than it was for four mythics, but we'll see. Maybe they'll also adjust Infinity Edge to also be like as good a first item power spike as Kraken Slayer is. Like maybe they'll also make you give attack speed as well. I don't know. Would be weird though. But I'm always excited for change. Oh, what the fuck? Even if that Q hit me, that was ambitious. I am literally full HP, my dude. Crap, I kinda needed it at the base, so I would have preferred for them not to have vision there. Cause if I were, I would have wanted the base literally in that brush where they had vision. Can you get away with basing now? Hmm. I mean their team has to deal with this with the inhibitors being down anyway, so. Should be fine. I don't think the team has much armor, do they? No, so we're just gonna go for zeal. Some attack speed will be nice here. I felt like the most useless person to be trying to ult his Warwick. At least he forced her ult, but... I have missed every fucking ult, bro. What? Ow. No! Followed by the fourth shot, damn it. How do they keep moving apart from every ult that I do, man? I aimed it into a big mass of people. I've done that multiple times and it's missed every time. Oh, another quadra for the gym. Okay, maybe that one was just off. I mean, they're all like group. Mm, I think I'm ashamed it though. Yeah. And this slightly too much to the left, I think. Because I think this is the exact point where I ulted, right? It's, I mean, I guess it maybe sort of looks like they're pathing towards there, but if I just aim it slightly there, like right in the middle here, there's no way to hit nobody. That would be so unlikely. Ah, my bad. Would have had a lot more damage if that hit. I'd like to get the red. Get it. I go white, which is really good for these situations. If it actually hits anybody, it's just barely not in range of Valkos. That's so annoying. Hey, I got him. I shouldn't have... White cute, actually. I don't want to use up my last white ammo.
We root him because we don't want him to leave the white turret range. Want to keep getting that DPS from it. <laughs> this guy's fucked. Oh, maybe not. Okay. We hit one. Can I get out of the way of the minion block? Okay, never mind. Can't get locals. Okay, GG. All right, gamers, we are back. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to pop ghost here for another game of a fellow's the diamond. If I get flashed on by Annie or something, it should be fine. No biggie. Right, let's go back to base, get some HP back. Huh, usually you just get to calmly walk into that brush. It's kind of crazy that every invade or every game has been an invade so far today. Well, I don't know about the first two games of this video. Uh, those were recorded yesterday for me. But every game today for me has been walking into the brush into finding an invade. And we're going to be playing a fellow Karma, or are we? I don't know, Karma seems to be AFK. No. Yeah, sure. Let's remake. Get another opportunity to maybe finally walk into the brush uninterrupted. Alright gamers, we are back. And we've been outplayed by Riot Games. Because instead of getting to... Do my usual walk into that balling brush, we've started on the opposite side of the map. Damn, I would pop Ghost for now if I had Ghost, but we're gonna have to run cleanse this game for the Fiddlesticks mainly, and it'll also, it'll also be decent into Thresh. But I uh, wouldn't bother against Thresh, if not for the fact that they also have Fiddlesticks. Oh, that's a good support. I was thinking that was our mid laner that ran into that brush and started E. <laughs> it's a shame he never got to land that E. Means he gets zero AP from his passive. Whereas if it landed, he would have had, I don't know, two, one, three. I'm not sure how much AP he actually gets. I think it's one. We might actually want to consider running Gil first this game. Although, I, again, I just realized actually they have Maw Fight, so maybe not. Kraken Slayer will be very essential against Maw Fight, I think. If we don't build Kraken Slayer, we're going to struggle a lot with killing him. But Gil Force would be really good against the Fiddlesticks as well. So will Bloodthirster Rush, though. Making sure we're always tanky, making it harder for him to one-shot us. We'll cleanse that. There we go. God, Lethal Temple would have been so much better in this game. I was actually considering running it for the fight. Oh shit, we're getting level 2 ganked by the mid laner, really? Really? My bad, I guess. Uh, nah, we'll just do cool for now. And he left the way frozen as well. This is very inconvenient for me. I only have a 4CS lead over Jinx. I'm actually going to fall behind on farm. Which obviously doesn't make up for the kill that I've got. But still, if you kill the enemies in lane, you should really usually have a CS lead as well. It's part of the whole benefit of killing them. Killing them and falling behind in farm is actually quite backwards. I need to use up more red. Oh my god, I need to flash out. Jesus, my bad. How much green ammo do I have? Too little.
focus the Jinx always. And we'll leave this last bit of red ammo for a triple weapon combo. Oh my god. I suck. He's dead though. There we go. Don't even need to use purple Q. Just a regular red combo. <laughs> Gangplank is missing again. He may be ganking us again. So I'm going to shove that ASAP and back off. I suspect he is around because of how Jinx is just tanking that wave. Uh, I guess I'll base. Hopefully they don't have vision here. Nah, I won't base. I don't want to miss farm here. It's too late to start basing. I'll just place a ward here. Besides, I have a very bad items for basing. I don't, I don't want to keep basing on no BF sword over and over and over. At the very least, I should get vamps up there. Okay, we can't really crash this because it's so far on our side of the map, despite having blue, which is really good for wave clear. So for now, we'll just chill, slow push this wave, and then crash the next one. We can start hard shoving now. Because now we know it's always going to crash at a good time anyway, so long as we crash the next wave fast enough. There's no such thing as pushing through, like uh, crashing it too early now at this point. So we don't have to worry about it. Woohoo, just barely got that one. Okay, just barely don't have enough gold for... BF sword right now. I could, in theory, just wait 20 gold though and silver fillable. I think I'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna be waiting for mana anyway. May as well. That is the greatest component to rush anyway. Don't touch the wave. Oh no. I don't want to tank up this wave just to follow this up. Oh god, there's even vision in this brush. Okay, I absolutely need to zone off the Jinx at the very least. These minions could stop focusing me when I'm not touching anything. That would be nice. Because I'm trying to zone Jinx. This melee walking forwards is also very very inconvenient for that purpose because I could be zoning her from XP as well. Oh fuck, I'm dead. I was just about to play some vision. My bad. Should have placed vision before. At that point, I was, like, massively overextended for ages, zoning the Jinx, and it gave Fiddlesticks a lot of time to realize that I was, like, that I was gonna be playing super aggressively. We needed to place the vision first. Kinda of wasted cleanse there as well. Ooh, there was no reason for Vigar to die there. Cause I was gonna be 100% dead there anyway, so no point cleansing. Ooh. She might actually win. Oh no, never mind. it's 1v4, not 1v3. <laughs> That's sad. That is very sad. But no use in blaming us for it.
the hell? Ugh. She's dead. Shouldn't fight a fellow white. We'll get rid of blue first here. I'm gonna have to base now because I don't want to run out of white too early. I want to use up red first. I'm just gonna keep spamming red in base. The only point of having red is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, actually I didn't check this far. The only point of red is to set up white stacks and we don't have enough white stacks to actually make use of that, so... We gotta run down red so it has similar stacks to white, preferably even less stacks. Nice, we reset it. Doesn't really matter though, because we're just going to be fighting her, I guess. Oh my god, she's doing a really good job of forcing me off a of Thresh there. At least Thresh dies anyway. It's getting kind of blocked as well, so it was very inconvenient. Why do I suck at those? Did she just... Oh my god. Dude, it looked like she flashed into the brush. Damn it. If, she'd not, if I hadn't lost vision on her, I might have been able to kill her. She has a movement speed advantage over me right now. Oh. If that had been... A perfect Vagari. Then I might have been fine. Unfortunately, even after Thresh Flush hooks, like, I can't shoot upwards or I'm gonna walk into Fiddlesticks, whereas if Fiddlesticks had been snared, I could try and dodge the Thresh hook. Instead, all I had, all I could do was let it hit me and immediately cleanse it and hope that was good enough. Uh, if they don't shove this in, this is a good way to stay for me. Don't even mind the Vagar thinning it out a bit, just as so long as he doesn't fully push it. His ult up, he should have been positioned more aggressively there. And th there's no point in him taking that farm, because he could have just frozen that. We'll get rid of green as fast as possible here. So we can use blue to push faster. It's probably going to make a difference at this point, though. I should have been using green running from base. I'm just going to keep pushing for now. Pretty decent combo there. <laughs> when it is riddled. Really? God, I haven't had a red ult landed forever, man. Oh my god. Okay, that's an assist for me. Oh, we almost got her. 
Not even close, Jesus Christ. Did he ignite her? He did, I didn't even notice. Nice one. That blue auto that I landed on her through the minions was crucial for getting that kill then. Yeah, it was a lot closer than it needed to be. If only I had just landed that. Red ult. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, fuck, no, what I meant to do. Oh well. I accidentally placed white Q when I just meant to use green Q. My swap didn't work because I was uh, swapping weapons, I think. Which is actually offering to swap the bot. Interesting. I like that. Or is he? Fellow's clean indeed. I got rid of these in the wrong order. Could have done a triple weapon combo too. Uh, can't really follow that up. Exactly. If I had escaped the Fiddlesticks W range, I would have been fine. But I got pulled back into it by that flame, man. That was so close. I would have killed Fiddlesticks in the end. Okay, at least I got two assists, which is basically one kill's worth of gold. What is this Shinx build? Why Kraken? Why, uh, Bork Rush? She's doing work into Renance, or why is she building double dagger as well? I can get this turret. I don't know why Jinx didn't even try and get that turret. She honestly probably could have just ignored me and then escaped with her passive. Well, except for the fact that I had purple. <laughs> I suppose with any other weapon combination, she could have done that. And she didn't even know that it was coming at that exact timing either. She could have at least tried to get our turret. Oh my lord. This is going to be very overkill us. Hope we can get this turret before the world hits it. There we go. We want to get rid of purple now. Wait, I gotta disengage. 
Having red green at this stage sucks so much, man. Why would I have to fuck up the combo? The uh, cycle, rather. in so much trouble here. I tried. Ah, not for a gangplank, I think I would have, would have outplayed in the end. Yeah, that kind of sucks I had red green there. That actually did very, very little compared to other combos I could have had. The other thing is red green is actually pretty nice in lane, but there it just did almost nothing. Let's get the strike. You don't need to hit it. You just need to rat shrink it, then they lose vision. Nice. Let me get the farm. Thank you. Yeah, for the sixth spot, we may be able to do burn here. <laughs> and we get revealed right as we're walking through, of course. Maybe we can get something here, though. Eventually. <laughs> Worth it for the cult. <laughs> Messed up my weapon cycle again, but... <sighs> Damn it. It was either mess up my weapon cycle or not get the Kalung Gangplank. I'm not even an assist. Uh, I'm trying to tank this, but Amumu is just not letting me get close enough. Oh my god. I was so close. I mean, I literally, it's not that he wouldn't let me get close, it's just that he was extraordinarily close. I couldn't get that close even trying to. And he refused to budge from that spot. Is he actually freezing? Nice. Thought he was just taking it for himself. Oh my lord. I was thinking about a potential for the sticks all through this wall, which is why I didn't want to follow up there, but didn't think there would be anybody here.
I think I'll do Raptors here. Never mind, they're not up. Maybe red buff is up. There's not much to push right now. Kind of needs to be careful. I'm going to shove this ace up and hope I can maybe pressure the inhib while they're trying to kill Victor. Trying and maybe succeeding. Oh, he actually did turn around, so I didn't need to ult. Oh my god, that fear lasted forever. Yeah, okay, I don't even need the plans, I guess. Nice one. Well, I'm still up first, so if anybody comes... Healthy enough to beat them. Okay, now we need to get rid of Red ASAP. Uh, I just need to get out. Can easily get flanked here. Yeah, this weapon combo is useless, so we want to get rid of it. So we just spam Q whenever it's up. Fortunately, red is really easy to get rid of since you don't need a target. And in fact, it's really convenient because it doesn't even stop you moving either. In fact, it even speeds you up. Green Q is also one that's easy to get rid of, but at the same time, every time you cast Q, it stops you. So it like it slows you down as you try and move places. Red is so nice to get rid of because it just speeds you up, if anything. I think we'll go for Phantom Dancer here, so we can have more tank killing on the mall fight. <coughs> it, well, it's either that or... or Dominix. Oh, I can't target Felistics without vision apparently, or my turret doesn't. I thought it would. Wait, is she ending? No, not ending. Just force the fiddlesticks into his base. But yeah, I would rather have Phantom Dancer than Lord Dominix, honestly. Maybe less damage than the mall fight, but I'll have more mobility. Ow. Use purple up to slow them down. So I hopefully live. Oh my god, I should have cleansed. Get rid of the slow. I don't know what even slowed me there. Maybe... Was it Malphite Q? I don't know. Oh yeah, it was the Q. And I think maybe Jinx W hit me as well off there? Didn't quite see. But I, I think I had the vision icon over my eyes, over my character. Which meant she got vision from her W. Okay, Just farming until Phantom Dancer, I think. We can solder and split for it. Yeah, I'm basing now. Or, well, I guess. They're probably gonna send people after Vega, right? That should be a free kill for the sticks. Oh my god, wait. Just notice how much damage I took. I think I'll go for red. 
Or I just base on it. I think I'll just base. Is he still coming? No, I'm good. Ooh, meanwhile. They're basing. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm assuming he killed Jinx on bot lane? Yep. Cool. And now Aurelia. There's no way she gets the Nexus man. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we can duo Baron. She doing it? Oh my god, she got two kills, 1v3. Can't she get four? If she can heal up off the minions, there's a chance. Oh my god. She actually would have beat them off, I holy shit. It's only because Fiddlesticks rise that she doesn't just kill him and end. Oh, we need to get rid of purple first. Nice one. I've only got one in hip left, so I'll pressure that one. I need to back off. He could easily just slow me into ult and to follow up from his team. God, that actually hit me. Oh my god, his damage. Jesus, okay. Well, I'm back to being obscenely healthy. Got him. Trying to hit my King Quink there. GG, I didn't quite catch how many tractions I had there, but it was a lot. Nice one. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Velos the Diamond. Fascinating. Where we're going to be playing a fellow Slux into Ezra Overcon. What does Han actually get out of that? I guess he might force Graves to miss some farm. Oh, and Graves is actually choosing to tank the turret instead. Yeah, we've got a pretty good matchup here, I think. Lux... Oh. Definitely performs better in lane than Rakan does. We'll get us skilled, but I don't care about that. I just care about winning lane. I like winning lane. Just a slow pushing now, just try and zone. Can't really zone as real much, but. Okay, we did some decent damage there. Took a bit of damage as well, but. Our next red can be a triple weapon combo if we don't get our shot blocked by the minions. So if he walks up. Ah, goddammit, I got blocked around the cannon. Oh well. Had to take some really, like, wide pathing there around the cannon when I just meant to walk in a straight line towards Ezreal or Khan, I can't remember who. I'm probably just base here. We're not really forced to stay. Ezreal's running low on mana as well, so he might struggle to trench about a wave. If he chooses to do that. 
We can just get coal and refillable. And the problem for Israel here is that if he chooses not to shove the south, because some of our minions were already taking damage, or, well, mostly just because the enemy wave is, or the waves are on the opposing side of the map, this is inevitably going to push towards us. And we're going to get a slight CS lead. Just by arriving to more minions than eventually would have, than Ezreal would eventually arrive to. But, but you can see that shoving for him also wasn't really an option. Because he just failed to shove that in time to crash it. So he's actually made the situation even worse for himself. He was in a shitty spot and he made the wrong decision trying to fix it. When he should have just accepted a small lead, a uh, small loss. Because now he's going to miss out on a full cannon wave. Which is worse than just missing out on the regular wave that he would have missed out on before. Probably wouldn't have even missed out on a full wave. But he's missed out literally on the entire wave, including the cannon. And he may also miss out on some of this. I don't think he's going to arrive in time for this melee, for sure. He'll probably arrive for one or two. Nope. He literally missed all three melees. What a disaster. He missed nine CS. For failing to acknowledge the situation he was in. Lux is really not helping here. These minions have very uneven HP. It's kind of hard for me to loss at those. But at least we soak up the XP, whereas Ezreal got nothing from his, yes. Nice trade there. We just hit the purple auto into purple Q. We back off, hit them with a the blue Q, which also hits them with a the purple auto. It's a really nice short trade, which doesn't give them much time to retaliate. And as soon as you're switching to the blue Q, you can just go outside of the enemy auto attack range. It's really nice. By backing off, you prevent them retaliating while you're hitting them with blue Q and the follow-up auto that it creates. Yeah, I used purple early, early there because I didn't want to miss out on the cannon. Oh, man. Alright, cool for me. Let's go. We don't let him freeze, but I'd even like to also just stick around for another wave, too. Which, if I'd realized that in advance, I probably should have just not been crashing. I should have been slow pushing instead. Still. Yeah, we're able to get it. Take some damage in the process. Okay, I didn't realize Gragas was on Drake. He shouldn't be hitting the ward. Gonna pop ghost. And we get the double. Awesome. We just flashed on Rakan there just to make sure that. Wait, did I flash before or after his flash? I'm not sure. But anyway, we, we definitely can just kill him there by flashing forwards. Make sure we get the ghost reset, then we switch on to Ezreal. I think Lux died there maybe for my efforts, but I don't really care. I just get more kills this way, which is what I care about. Alright, I'll leave it at that. I could try and- I could get the plating as well for sure, but it would cost me some... ...white ammo, which I don't want to use up, so... Damn, it's a shame I'm gonna miss out on that plating though. Maybe I should've just taken it with red ammo. I guess I figured they would arrive into lane sooner than that. Oh well. Plating just barely went down. I just want to rush into them. 
I think I should let's know we. Oh damn it. I ran out of light, I forgot. Oh fuck, that sucks. But I'm also done with Lux positioning with me though. Let's see, we're together here. She's a little bit behind me. Okay, she missed the Q. Where's the E though? I never saw her use E. Hmm. Not bad. I thought me being level 6 would make a bigger difference there. Just need some walk in a straight line. Ezra has no mana for Q? Okay. Damn, that's a 500 gold bounty to Ezreal. He might have enough for Essence Reaver now. I'd rather not base now until I got Bloodthirster. Currently don't know where Danon is. Um, I would actually venture out here to go place a ward, make sure they don't have a loss count. Okay, there she is. And clear that, but we're just going to recall literally after this wave anyway. Because I'll already have enough for Bloodthirster, so we may as well just not ward, but instead just stick to the middle of the lane where we know we can't get ganked. Shove the wave from there. And now we base. Perfect timing as well, given the next wave is a cannon wave. Yeah, there's the Ezra Lessons Reaver. I should be ahead in gold now, or at least ahead in inventory. Kind of annoying though that the CS lead I've got over him is kind of probably made up for by the... Uh, Bounty he got from me. I don't think I got any bounties, so he would literally have a lead over me. Even which is kinda of annoying, because shouldn't have such a big such a big bounty if I'm only if I'm like behind or not like not so ahead to the point where one single bounty is all it takes for us to be even. I thought they're for uh closing the gap, not for fucking completely evening things up. Oh, dude, I'm dead. Ooh, actually, fuck. Maybe if I just retreated into the Bloskin, I would've lived. Okay, that sucks. Does he get Ezra? No. <laughs> yeah, that was an annoying Recon combo. Just uh, delayed us for so long. About time for Diana to arrive. At least I showed that in the end. He also got a Kalan Sion though, I think. Or, well, somebody got a Kalan Sion anyway. I think, yeah, I think he dived them, so it was one for one. Still, I think Ezreal ended up missing slightly more farm from that. Oh, no, maybe not.
Nice, we reset the white. Can't do it anymore though. Bro, there's such a long delay before I can red queue. So annoying. Okay, I'm probably dead here, we'll see. Yep, very dead, my bad. At least he's hopefully gonna die here, right? Yeah. It'd be worse. Did she just get a Dark Harvest Spark from them? Surely they can't be right. <gasps> oh, so close, man. Uh, but he didn't have Smite, though. Can't tell if she got a Dark Harvest Park or not. Probably not, but I swear I heard the sound. Nicely done, Lux. Holy shit, I did not expect it to suddenly pull a move like that. That was really good. Carefully abusing the fact that he's 1v2. There's a Diana. Fuck. I'm extremely dead here. <laughs> Why does any flash? <laughs> Just to kill steal. Not bad, not bad. Playing with farther looks. Was that first turret? No, I think Graves got a first. Damn. Son is struggling. I can sh probably shove one more wave. It's a little bit risky. But I mainly need vision there. As long as they don't have Blaskin, I should be fine. I think they would have revealed the Blaskin if they had it. Oh god, such unlucky crits. Okay, so there's no punishing us for here. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? Okay, I might be fine. No! I wouldn't have st ah, stopped to use ult if I knew it was gonna flash. Okay, at least they die. At least Ezreal does. Use flash to trade him off for one. Not bad. Yeah, I was thinking of punishing Ezreal. So I was popping through here, then Rakan shut up and it's like, oh, okay, obviously I can't punish. But if I were to suddenly turn around now, that would be a long distance to walk back and then turn it around just to end up at almost the same spot anyway. So I was like, yeah, I'll just hope they won't engage. It's just Rakan anyway. Surely he won't just immediately engage when he pops fucking ultimate. I doubt they had vision here either. So for all, like, they probably had the vision... Uh, the map dark here, and he still just immediately engages without any other information. So we could have had somebody here, for all he knows. Okay. 
Okay, we'll go for raptors right now. We can't afford to go for the turret at the moment. We don't have enough vision. So we'll just maximize our farm right now. I suppose maybe we could have rotated towards the graves, try and gank him. Somebody should have been going bot as well, but Karina just went top. Where to be fair, it's good, but only because Han ended up dying. I don't know what Lux is doing there. I can't really go bot where I would like to go for farm. So I need to defend mid. Now this is going to be much I can do alone anyway. But I need to be here so I can defend against their hold whenever possible. Ow. Ow. We have teammates around, man. This is so annoying. Oh my god. He just pulled the Annie right into me. Got the flash away from her. Alright, they both died. Thank god. But they, they did not need to get fucking two turrets before we defended, man. So, it could be worse. We could have uh, given up two turrets and then also lost the fight. Good look at the bright side of things. We're just wasting our time there. We should be focusing on the threat. Ooh. Nice one. 163 gold to everybody who was there. Ooh, this could be good. Nice one. I think this game I'll try uh, Phantom Nets or Third Item and just see what it's like having that cheap power spike instead of going for the expensive Infinity Edge. Preceded by the expensive Kraken Slayer. Preceded by the expensive Bloodthirster. <laughs> just having a quick Third Item power spike there might be more useful than Infinity Edge, honestly. I'll shove one more wave. I could just sell my coal already for Kraken Slayer, I think, but there's also just very little downside to shoving a bot with, since we know that it's safe, since they're distracted on mid lane. Don't want to take advantage of that, since it's not always, like... There's a lot, always a lot of times during games where you're just not safe to farm a wave, so when it is safe to farm waves, you gotta take advantage of that. Not having to sell coal now is just a side bonus to just getting a free wave, which will help me throughout the entire rest of the game. I'll always be up like 100 gold and however much XP for getting that wave. Probably should have played more aggressively be there, my bad. I, should, I still can. I'm gonna pop ghost. Oop. Fuck's sake, he dashed out of it. Whatever. Nice one. Did Ezra flash away? I think he did. You guys said he's dead. Perfect. 600 gold shot down. Not bad. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't want to let Katarina get the cannon, so both of us missed it. Whoops. It's really annoying though, when she could have gone bot, she could have gone top. That she just default paths mid lane where I already am, so I can't really go somewhere else for farm. Alright, I can base for Zeal now. Did she miss the ult? No oh, way, well, I should have done so little damage. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. 
She ha she missed something on Annie there for sure. <laughs> no way her entire burst left Annie on 70% HP. Ugh, Lux. Ooh. Goodbye, Costers. I'll try and leave one green ammo so we can potentially triple up in combo. I want. Well, let's get out of here. Suppose we can rush the Drake and hope for the best. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Oh my god. Is Diana coming? I think I'm gonna have to let it reset. Oh fuck, it's not resetting. But where is Lux going? Dude, she's just farming while it, like taking farm that could have eventually gone to me instead of helping me here. Jesus Christ. Nice. Can't remember what the point of my flash was, but I had a very good reason, reason for using it at the time. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Can I base? I'm gonna try and base. I'm keeping that on the minimap instead of actually looking at this replay. Yeah, so I was just flashing the Agile abilities while also at the same time sort of getting closer to them. I think if I wanted if I wanted to go both of them, I, I would eventually have to flash on Ezreal anyway. I couldn't just blindly walk at him. I'm flashing slightly to the side, also meant that I dodged his abilities. So there's zero chance to get burst down. I can go for the bolt in with. Oh, hello. Hey, Jesus. Auto gun so much smoother if I could have had vision of him the whole time. I hate smoke screen. We'll get rid of purple nice and early. We'll stick to red for now to heal back up. Damn it. Hmm. There's no chance I get there in time, so I'm just gonna keep pushing bot. I'm a team on the fight anyway, so it's all good. We got the best of both worlds. They don't even get to keep any Baron buffs whatsoever. Nice. Oh my god. How many track ones do I have? 15. Come on, baby. Come on. No. No. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, whoops. He is getting away for sure. We'll push the top lane in hip.
Damn it. Oh, I've lost vision so I can't finish her off. God damn it, that's so annoying, man. Hit him. Oh my god, that burst on deluxe. What the fuck? I did misplay that though slightly. Let me tell you what it was. I think I just let Annie get yeah, I let Annie get too close to me for no reason. So what I should have done, I, d I played it right besides that, is I can place a uh, white Q to triple, not exactly triple weapon combo, but at least combo the weapon switch. When she gets hit by white, I can therefore snare her with purple afterwards. But before I could do that, she'd already gotten too close to me. I needed to have placed that turret and started walking away a lot sooner. Then as soon as she just can't get in my range because she's snared, at that point I can probably just finish her off with the green from outside of her range. Oh well. I will not let you die. What are we getting now? I think I'll just sit on a zeal actually. Literally just the best power spike I can pick up for the amount of gold I have. Then maybe we can end up selling it for maybe QSS or Lord Dominix or GA. GA might be nice given the Graves build. Okay, we should be able to get this trick for sure for realsies this time. Come on. Come on, baby. We have the Smite on Gragas. God, this attack speed feels smooth. Oh, I don't get there in time to CC. Okay. That was like two flashes from me, wasn't it? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, I'm fucking dead now. <laughs> Damn it. Holy shit, it's burst. <laughs> yeah, some armor would be nice against that, but I'm never gonna be able to 1v1 him properly anyway. Jesus. How many how much how much damage was that per auto? Jeez, wait, that was like 1400 damage in one auto, right? How much HP did I have? Currently have 1400. Okay, so it wasn't 1400, it, it was like 1300. My lord. Nice one. Look at my movement speed, it's actually pretty nice for not having go for us. Also it's the funny weed number. Go for the enemy raptors as well, and we want to get a straight on spawn. At the moment we're just waiting for the Baron. Did I say Drake? I meant Baron. The first time. Let's get it. Okay. Hello, I'm so fucked here. No point red ulting because the heal wouldn't come through soon enough. <sighs> I think I will get some form of armor for this Grizz. In fact, ooh, Randwins could actually be good for once because he is entirely crit based with that build.
Hopefully it would end before I got to test my anti graves build. I mean, at the moment, it's just a warden's mail, to be fair. And there's zero chance I get to finish Randwins before this game ends. But we'll see. Doing a good job of throwing. Was there much I could do there? Oh, too late to see. I don't know if I could have realistically expected Graves to be there, to be honest. Unless he passed through mid at some point. Well, I mean, obviously he did, right? But for minions. I'd love to team fight with blue, but we don't have the ammo. So we may as well get rid of it and just get white. Oh, if it was just the Anna by herself, I might be fine. I don't even have a chance to ult in some Permacy Seed. Alright, my bad. I should not have been there, honestly. I needed my team's help if I wanted to serve another wave. I was second-guessing myself, but I was like... I mean, the enemies wouldn't just assume that my team are all off to the Drake 30 seconds early, right? They were. Oh, Lord. Okay, at least Graves isn't there. Okay, he's TPing. He is going to be there. I think we can have to give that. Even if it's soul, like, it doesn't matter. We just can't contest. <laughs> yeah, he's just getting zoned and he's going to die for no reason. Yeah. We give over two kills and soul when it could have just been soul. And it happens every time. Nobody is ever willing to give Drakes, especially souls. Oh, okay, we actually get one kill back at least. Can't believe how crazy scaling that Graves build is, though. Oh, he doesn't even have boots anymore. He has 80% crit chance as well as... Oh, wait. No, he's got full crit, doesn't he? He sold his mythic for shield bow. It's on 100% crit and got GA. Alright, well I guess I will get to test the Randuins. There we go. I was worried because I missed the cannon, I wouldn't have it. Yeah, this one I got almost 3,000 HP on top of all my overshields and 177 armor. Let's see how we cope with this. Nice. Okay, Annie's bot. It might be a good time to try and fight. Hello? What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake, man. If anybody had peeled me instead of going for Ezreal, I would have destroyed that fight compared to Ezreal. What I should have done as well is just flash the Rakan ult, though. I couldn't expect to tank their... To, to, uh, to tank them while I'm CC'd, because I just get one shot during the CC. The problem with it, like, I keep having red when I get burst by Diana, but every time it's comboed by Rakan as well, so I get one shot while I'm CC'd and can't red ult. It's so annoying, because red ult would do a lot to help me survive these fights. Like this, at that point, I should have already flashed. Like between the Diana knock up, like she knocks me up. I see Rakan head, ignoring Katarina, just going straight towards me, right? I have to flash because he's obviously going to use W. I need to flash that if I want to live. Like, I, the thing is, I get baited because I'm high HP, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I just like survive the burst and then I rattle to recover all my HP and we just clean up, right? But no, we go fucking one shot during the CC. Especially because of Graves ult. Uh, I, I, pro I don't know, maybe I wouldn't have died enough for Graves ult. I'm not sure, but... Definitely I can't be playing there assuming that I'm going to survive the CC because it's just way too unlikely. Weapons aimed by destiny. 
God, we don't have any inhibs down anymore. Haven't had for have haven't had them down for a while either. I need to take the long pathing around. Okay, nice one, Sion. Oh, we did die though. I can force a really good fight here. Wait, I want a ghost. He's dead eventually. Got him. Alright, we should hopefully be able to end now. Dude, my my randoms didn't even do anything because the one fight that we win is where I don't even get focused to begin with. So annoying. <laughs> oh well. Still. I'm, I think randomness was a good choice against Graves. It just literally never ended up being his fault because we never actually got ordered by Graves again. We got one shot twice by the Diana Rakan combo and then just never got hit after that. Oh well, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Ophelos to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Ophelos Soraka into Kaisa Zyra. Should be an alright bot lane. They have a stronger early game than us, but we're gonna have hopefully enough tools to survive it pretty easily, and then we will greatly outscale. That's a really nice trade. That Soraka slow makes it so I can very easily kite the Kai even if she wanted to run trade back against me there. So if I can get a green Q here. Yep, nice. That's really nice because I have a lot of Conqueror stacks from having hit that red Q. So being able to use a green Q now is a lot better than just using a green Q at any other moment. Ow. Still worth it though. And we want to maintain this last... Well, this last red Q stack for a triple weapon combo possible there we go easily done just so much damage I'm actually deliberately timing Maldus right now so it's exactly as the turret starts at Sato which gives me more time to leave the turret range before getting focused So that auto attack, uh, or that trading pattern we mentioned before. We can do a run out into Kaisa. You know, a uh, purple... Ooh. Hang on. Okay. God, these plants, man. Thank you for the heal. God, that was a lot of plants there. Sucks. Uh, I don't quite have enough mana to one-shot Zara now, or anybody for that matter. Have they used heal? They have, they have. I don't know if I needed to flash, really. Probably should have just held that for trying to... ...force Kai'Sa. I should have just ghosted, actually. Go like, I wanted to close that gap fast, so we couldn't get hit by more Zyra abilities and more Zyra plants. And just kill her fast, before she could fight back. But Ghost could have achieved a similar effect. Not quite as fast, obviously, but still pretty fast. Oh, I should have fallen to that, my bad. Forgot I was in one ammo. Oh, well. Well, I can just do the same to Kaisa now, I guess. Okay, she's dead. We don't even need to hit her again, which means no more aggro. Perfect. 
That is really, really good. Look at how much the SG misses under turret there. Honestly, I probably even played it suboptimally. This worked out better than if I played it the way that I probably should have. But I think the way that I should have played it... Hang on. We'll grab the BF sword and... Let's get the boots. The, the way that I should have played that was just being okay with dying there, I think. Because there's so much value in me killing Kaisa here, even if I also die, because of how much CS she misses under turret. So I hit her there. In fact, if I might not have even given her the kill gold. She might have, I might have just gotten executed if she didn't hit me back. But the way I played this, I risk her actually surviving. I'm just kind of lucky that the minions just focused her for no reason, right? And because I dodged the Zara E, I would have been able to turn on her and kill her anyway, right? But at the same time, that also gave her a chance to hit me back. When she knew for a fact that she was going to die, so she had nothing to lose. Whereas if I just committed to killing her from the start, she... Well, there was less chance of her hitting me back. And there was also zero chance that Zara could save her. Like, and again, I mean, it worked out even better the way that I played it. But only, like, in hindsight. Like, it was not guaranteed. It's just kind of lucky that I dodged the Zara E. And kind of lucky that Zara didn't arrive sooner, right? Because, I mean, it's also sort of unlucky she arrived when she did, right? But it was always a possibility. But because of the sheer amount of farm that Kaisa missed there, that would have been 100% worth to trade one for one there. That's what I should have been aiming for, I think. I should only back out of turret range instead of fully committing for the kill. If I'm really sure that the auto Q would kill her. Which, to be fair, I thought it might. I was hoping it would, but clearly I was wrong about that. Oh my god, that's a lot of plants. Fuck, man. I swear, some Zaras are just hacking, or they're just something... They just know something that other Zaras don't, because they just end up with a billion... Killing plants. Nice. A little bit risky, but is off. I might just go for the dive. Not right now. On this wave, since it's a cannon wave, this would be the perfect time to dive. Oh, what? You have an AFK? Yeah, okay, their Pantheon died three times and went to AFK. Fair enough. GG. Alright, gamers. We are back, holy crap, for another game. Love a fellas to diamond. Playing a Felios Ivern, what the hell? I only just noticed my support. Follow Cyvern into Jinx Morgana. I was strongly considering running cleanse for this matchup. Because unlike the previous game where we played against Morgana, which was Morgana Kaisa. God, they invade every game. Uh, this time we're facing Morgana Jinx, which Jinx actually has follow-up CC to the Morgana Q. So if we were to get hit by a Morgana Q, it's much more punishing in this matchup than it was before. So I'd very much like to run cleanse, and I was going to. Until I realized that most of their comp I would really, really like to ghost away from. Cleanse does not do much against Jax, or Olaf, or especially Katarina. <clears throat> so I decided to not be a pussy and just run ghost. Oh, Jinx is blue. Oh, that's not bad. 
I assume that was not on purpose. She's gonna hit level 2 early though, we gotta watch out for that. Kinda trading 1v2 now, but... We'll pop Ghost since I got the lead and they're not trading back anymore. There we go. Alright, now we back off before we get hit by another Morgana kill. That was really nice. Just lucky that even though Morgana was in a better position than Ivern, she still didn't even bother trying to actually trade. Ooh, that could be really good. But she should probably be dead there, I imagine. Ooh, nice. Good shit. Hmm. She was a bit more further overextended, I would have flash queued her with red. Which with full conquer stacks would have been a kill, but unfortunately she was too close to the turret, so I wouldn't be able to take that up, so I wouldn't be able to do enough damage. Oh, that doesn't mean a wave shows up, my bad. Okay, I don't want to touch her, I don't want to get aggro. Until now. Okay. We can call it quits here. Nice. Okay, that was very crucial. Dude, if I had... Auto attack enabled, I would have died. I did not press S in time. I was very lucky. Not exactly lucky, just good that I don't play with auto attack enabled, at least. Hmm, we'll run dagger. Boost would be decent as well though for dodging the Morgana Qs, and also for getting into lane foster since she will get to crash this. We need to keep at least one red ammo if we want to triple weapon combo, which I of course want to do. I always want to do that. I never don't want to do it. It's only the coolest fucking thing you can do on a Felios. Alright, she's dead. Hopefully. Yeah, we don't even need to. We'll just use purple Q to secure it, make sure it doesn't go to Ivern. Alright, just put a point in W early. Oh well. I don't suppose it really matters too much. Man, I would have liked the last caster as well. I don't really want a base yet though, so we'll just stick around, we'll place a ward there, try and cheese. I haven't should have been hiding in a bush with me. Okay, we dodged it. Pop goes so I can chase more gunner down more effectively as well. Hmm, not gonna be able to get her sadly. Maybe Akshan does though? I did not, I should have done that better, my bad. Shouldn't have ordered it. We can use white to try and get the plating here, maybe even two platings. Yeah, two platings should be very easily doable here. Can I shove another wave after? Honestly, I may as well. Oh. Thank god I didn't get aggro from that. We're we actually getting ganked. Okay, we're gonna have to back off then. Yeah, judging from yep, definitely getting ganked. You can really tell because the way Jinx is moving.
Okay, now we just leave. Ooh. She's almost dead, but the caster stopped focusing her. Yeah, she was gonna try and dive me with W. Needed to cancel that base. Nice. Suppose I can stick around? Especially now that I got red. Oh, I need to get rid of red fast, though. I got red ult if I need it. <laughs> I haven't hit a single one all day, man. Holy shit. Alright. Ah, oh, goddammit, we messed up the combo. The weapon cycle, my bad. <laughs> she will not let me base, which is good. That's what her support should do. I think they must have had vision there, because both of them were actually headed towards me there. Okay, we're going to have to miss out on the next wave, unfortunately. We'll back off really far, make sure we can't get this cancelled. It would be really greedy to try and stay right now, though, when we've got so much gold to spend, just because we refuse to take a bad base. Taking a bad base is not the end of the world, especially if the uh, alternative is to just sit on fucking 2,600 gold. Because 2,600 gold, you can snowball really hard with that if you spend it. Every, t every moment that you spend not spending it is just a huge waste. Because you're not going to be using it to get gain an even bigger lead. Okay, at least this red-white isn't so bad in lane. It's a lot better for this to happen now than in... ...late game. In fact, I can even try and triple up in combo with this. And I'm nearly good ult up as well. To try and add to the combo. Thing is, with this wave, it's gonna be hard to actually triple up in combo. Because I need to actually hit the, the... Hang on. She's just dead to this, I think, actually. Yep, got her. Oh, how did she die to Avern? God damn it, Daisy. Oh, well. We can still triple up in combo, though. Oh, except my green rotation didn't go through. Can we still hit her, though? Nice one. I don't know where Katarina is. Found her. Oh my god, that actually hit me. <laughs> because I hit Ivern. Ah, we don't get to finish shoving it in. It's so annoying, man. Alright, at least we live, though. Could be worse. There was a world where actually both of us died for that rocket. I mean, I was, like, relatively far off, but that Ivern was, like, 5 HP or something. I was crazy lucky. <laughs> I've got purple. Don't want to flash past the traps though. Okay, we should shove this and just play some vision. Okay, no pink.
Probably don't want to stick around to the turf for too long. Oop. Now I do. Nice. Well played, Arvin. Oh, uh, we're gonna miss the cannon. Oh, I just barely got it. Nice one. Yeah, even just a single auto once you got a bunch of chakrams is a lot of burst. So that white ult into flashing into melee range combo is just goes hard, man. It's uh Bruiser Katarina, by the way. So she doesn't quite one shot too hard. Is that? Mm -hmm. Shame I got snared though, otherwise I could have popped Ghost and got Jinx as well. Our first tower gold. Okay, we need to make sure we're getting rid of red before white, so... I'm gonna run this down to 10 red ammo before I switch, before I red kill and then switch to white. There we go. Perfect. Gotta place a turret in there. See if, it, see if Jinx happens to walk into it. That'd be so fun. This is a triple weapon combo if she walks into it. Since this is my white and I've got green purple here. Come on, Jinx. Come on. Ah, she didn't double. God, I got a pop ghost to finish her. Could have. Mm, nah, never mind. No, nah, there was no way. If my purple gear had been coming closer to going off cooldown. Then I could have waited a little bit on the second green hit from the purple uh, from the green ult before actually auto attacking, so it would uh, apply the purple mark later, so it would buy time for the purple Q to come up. All right, their jungler is over here, so we can go for his raptors as well. Okay, here comes doing that. We can just go mid though. We don't have to go for his golems since I'm already way well out of my way. <clears throat> oh, the jungler is suddenly not topside. Nice. God damn, that entire wave just disappeared. Gotta wait for the red buff to run out. About three seconds, there we go. Gotta wait for it to run out again. She's using a purple key for the sake of making sure that it stays below my blue ammo. Reduce the odds we accidentally swapped the wrong one.
Nice. Ooh. Let's go get this. Wait for the wave to be more lined up before I use the last of my blue. And I think I can go for another wave. Their team is pretty distracted with whatever's going on top side. They're contesting Herald, I think. And we're pretty strong, so we can 1v1 most people, I think. Definitely Katarina, because she can't burst us, so it... Like, with red-white, we're gonna annihilate her. Same for Olaf. Maybe Jax, because he dodges Mato's, maybe could beat me. Nice. Okay, I could really do with basing, though, actually. Actually, you know what? Whether I go Infinity Edge third or whether I go Phantom Dancer third, I feel like it actually depends on what I base on. Like if I if I can base on BF third, I feel like I may as well do that because it's such a good component. But if I can't base on it, then I guess I prioritize Zeal. Oh. Can't see her. <laughs> Oh, I weapon swapped before she flashed and then I couldn't switch to green Q in time. Thankfully she does anyway though. Good prediction. God damn it, they always dash away from my ult, man. Ah, oh, that's happening way too much. Looked like that was guaranteed to hit at least one person there. Alright. Okay, I guess we just stand. Not much of a defense. GG. <laughs> Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios to Diamond. Gonna be playing Aphelios Yumi into Dravenheimer. Guess they're leashing, I'm gonna try and do the same trick as before. Make the minions more or less line up. And now you see they focus this melee really hard. Okay, Hammer's already in lane. Uh, this isn't also pushing as fast as I would have liked it to. Ooh, driven almost missed XP, but not quite. And we now also another benefit of this is that the lane starts pushing towards us. So if we want to freeze, that's very useful. I wouldn't say that we want to push for the level 2 here. I 
Yeah, we got a very defensive setup here. Carlos and Yumi both are really weak in the early game, but skill really well. Whereas Draven and Heimer, both of them are really good in laning phase, but skill pretty badly. So, it's just really a lane where we want to completely chill. Didn't hit that on Draven. We'll hop the ghost so we can keep over the Draven. Oh my lord. Uh, why did Jimmy detach? Hopefully she lays lives. Does Draven have heal? He doesn't. Okay, nice. We're not going in that brush. Yep. Not going in there. Jesus, I did not expect him to have stacked up so many turrets there. Neither did. Skarner, I don't think. Alright, we'll use Kids to transfer this faster. This is a triple weapon combo. Come on, one auto should do it. Just let. Ah, oh, damn it, she didn't have to kill him. Oh well. Um. Gotta hope Hecarim isn't bot side. We really want to shove this. Okay. Seems to have worked pretty well. Yeah, Hecarim seems to be top side. Okay. That's pretty decent. It's a shame Draven got the kill before, but... Oh, well, he didn't have too many passive stacks. But it's enough for him to be pretty happy about getting that kill. Potentially gone for Drake because it doesn't seem like they want to insta shove this. It's gonna take a while for this gank to come into effect. Nah, that's not gonna work. He just wasted a lot of time. What is he doing? I mean, this might actually work now. We'll see. I'll snare him instantly. Yumi? Oh my god, Yumi. That was so unnecessary. She just took the kill. Oh. Not only does she take red with that. God, we're probably gonna gank the Hecarim, yeah. I should have backed off. We might actually win this now, though. Yeah, he actually dies. Oh my god. Yumi, can you like get some vision for me, please? Thank you. Uh, I might be dead now, god damn it. We bought him out of time for his cooldowns to come up. And like the entire time I could have had red and I could have been fucking healing from that. That's so tilting, it was so unnecessary. She said sorry, but she's probably not even apologizing for taking the kill, which was the real problem there. Super annoying. Oh well. We can try and all in Draven now. Uh, never mind, he's level 6. Holy fuck, how is he level 6? 
I'm only level 5. What? Even once I soak up this whole wave, I'm still going to be massively behind them. I don't know. Maybe I should have done it anyway. Because I do have red-white. We do have exhaust as well, actually. It was a huge mistake not to all in them there, honestly. Would have been free. Because Heim we know Heimer only just died, so he's not going to be here yet. Can we reset the white? And this time the kill is mine. Let's go. Okay. I should have tried to green Q actually, because if I hit... I have so many trackums, if I'd hit him with it, he might have actually died. Just for how much damage the one auto would deal. On top of all the Conqueror stacks. <laughs> a bit pointless. Yumi Q is not meant to be used like that anymore. He might die to this. Well, he dies to that. And I don't even get aggro because he's so far away. <laughs> Holy shit. That was nice. But I gotta be careful. I took aggro from blue hitting the turret. Oh. Okay, we got him. And thankfully Yumi had the aggro instead of me. Do I need to run here? I think I need to run. I'm not really getting enough information from my teammates. My teammates should know 100% whether this Ziggs is, like, in base or running bot. Well, I mean, I suppose if there's no way to say Ziggs isn't coming towards you through pings, they can only communicate if he is. And I don't know if they're just not communicating it because they're lazy or if they're not communicating it because he's just not coming. <laughs> I just could assume he is coming. He wasn't, but better safe than sorry. Uh, we can wait 20 gold. Yeah, that was a pretty shitty Yumi ult. Yumi ult doesn't snare anymore, so it doesn't do much aggressively. It's mainly just a healing tool, so that was a weird use of Yumi ult. gonna freeze actually probably could have done with dragging it a little bit further out but no problem yeah this is not much of a freeze it's not gonna hold for too long i don't think this guy needs to stop trying to force gank so hard man wait fuck hammer was supposed to have died already god damn it my bad i Used the purple ult on him and I was just letting him get rooted while I focused Draven and I thought they would finish him. Huh, Yumi ult did not heal Skarner much. Is it because he's not her best friend or what? My bad. I should have just played a safer and just gone for the guaranteed kill instead of getting greedy and trying to kill both. Maybe they just really hard nerfed Yumi ult, I'm not sure. Also, should have tried to probably position in a way where I wouldn't be getting hit by the Heimer ult turret the whole time, because that was doing a number on me. I think somebody based in there, but I had no way of checking.
Why the fuck do they have a TP coming in? Oh, dude, 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 wait! Holy shit! Didn't expect the fucking Zigzolt. <laughs> what? What a waste! I might be able to stay because I got red ult. Ah! Okay, here we go. I should live now. Holy shit, man. Okay, we got this wave coming under the turret. I can still off of that, and I'm already a little bit healed up anyway. Didn't expect Ziggs to flash into range, so I'm lucky I didn't get one shot by whatever he hit me with. If I'd been, like, literally one hit away from death, I wouldn't have had time to get healed by Red Ult. None of my ults go according to plan today, I swear to god. I mean, this one's sort of dead, but only because I got lucky that I survived anyway, despite the unexpected occurrence. Oh, dude, right as I place my white turret. Oh, I need to flash that. Ah, damn. That sucks. Without the turret shot, I live. Just the unluckiest time to get stunned. Oh, thank god. That's not first turret for them. about this next wave as fast as we can. Okay, we see most of the enemies on the map. I don't see Singe, but hopefully he's not coming to us. Yeah, he's topside. Okay, we can maybe try and run down Draven if he... Oh no, he's... Help, okay, we just keep on pushing here then. It's not a solo turret, but I will. It would be 650 if I was alone. How much is it shared? 325. Still better than nothing. And having gold on Yumi is not exactly useless either since she skills so well. Okay, now we can, I guess, just steal camps. Or we can try and ambush Akram here. Just gonna be alone for now. Ah, none of the ults go according to plan, man. Oh well. Uh, I mean, I can't take red, but I'd rather just rotate towards mid now. I'd like to take red, like. When I'm coming back from base, there's no point in me going to do red when I could just literally be getting a free mid threat here, you know? And also no point delaying my base at the moment. I'm about three waves away from cashing out coal, may as well just base for now.
Oh, this Draven is way overextended. We talk about how risky it is to push past the halfway point. He pushed past the halfway point and then kept on pushing. Silly Billy. Thank you for letting me have the rest of the farm. Holy crap, the rest of the wave just goes past. Because <laughs> he dragged it over to the left. Ah, whatever, that melee's not important. And I got it anyway. Jimmy trying to snipe the scuttle. Holy crap, that's 6 HP. Shut down. Uh, I should have red queued. Dude, I'm so slowed. Damn it, that's not who I wanted to hit, but I guess I killed him. But now I'm stuck here. Fuck. I wanted to kill Ziggs there, but it actually took so fucking long for my... I forgot that it takes really, really long time for the green mark from Grinnell to actually proc. And in the meantime, you have to stay in range of the person to actually kill them, because it's not global since, like, two patches after Phyllis's release. That's the, that's what the downside about like I I think that the global range on Aphelos's green mark was fine, except for his green turrets. It was fucking ridiculous. He could kill you from his base while you were like here, right? But for the green Q and green ult, it is actually pretty. Like I would say, uh, what's the word? Intuitive that it actually is global. It's a shame, because there's no, there's really no reason why I should have been forced to stay under turret to try and finish off the Ziggs. But uh, realistically, it was just a bad play because of the fact that I would have, you know, I would have had to do that and it baited me into doing so. Should have just, like, I think maybe Grinnell was fine, but I should have just accepted that maybe they just wouldn't walk into it. Oh. Two people there and I'm alone. God damn it, I got either minion blocked or blocked by the turret, I'm not sure. Oh well. Either way, it makes me unhappy. There was actually somebody there! What are the odds? I can't use purple Q until... okay, no. Until either one ammo or until it actually kills him. If I use green... If I used purple Q early, then I would run out of purple Q since I was sub 10 ammo. And then I wouldn't have the slows to chase with anymore, only the root, which would eventually run out. Whereas the slows are infinite. As long as we can get in his range without snaring him, we want to keep not snaring him there. He's stuck. Your 
I am not pulling that up. Here we go. Wait, don't get plugged into the fountain. Okay, okay. GG. <laughs> sure, LEC player. What a compliment. Anyway, that was the last game of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.